In this video, I'm going to take you through the premier area of the BMW Vault, and I'm going to show you some really cool BMWs. So let's go take a look. Let's start immediately with the BMW M3 Touring. This is the forbidden fruit because we're not getting this car in the United States. Despite petitions and all of that, that customers and potential customers put together, this car is not coming to the US. Instead, we will get the M5 Touring. But let's focus on the G81 M3 Touring. First generation M3 Touring that went into production. And as you can see it here, it's in Riviera blue, stunning color with a nice combination of M performance parts. If you go to the front, you will notice immediately the carbon fiber splitter. It's offered through the M performance catalog. Of course, you have those side canards also in carbon fiber. The air intakes, carbon fiber as well. You have this toe strap in red, of course, to give the car a sporty, more sport inspired kind of flair. Let's take a look at the side view because this is where the BMW M3 Touring really, really shines. Perfect proportions, really beautiful design lines. This car is just perfect. All you need is, is probably just a carbon fiber roof, but unfortunately it's not offered from the factory. Speaking of more and performance parts, you can see them right there on the mirror caps and also on the side gills. And you can also see how this color changes quite a bit as I move around the car depending on the light conditions here. Now, if you move to the back, you will notice immediately the somewhat controversial exhaust system. It's an M performance exhaust system, and it comes with a brand new pipes layout, still quad pipes, but in different arrangement. And it's integrated with this carbon fiber diffuser. Let me take a three-quarter view of the car. It's my favorite view, and this is why I truly love the M3 Touring. Now let's go take a look at another M3 Touring, this time around in Tanzanite blue. Doesn't stand out as much as Riviera blue, clearly, but it just goes really nicely with the overall dark theme of this particular M3 Touring. As you can see, black wheels. You have the extended shadow line with all these blacked out elements. The rocker panel on the bottom right there and of course the extended shadow line and you can also see how the color changes quite a bit i mean that stands on a blue for you you can go from a very dark blue almost black to a lighter shade of blue it's even got a little bit of a purple hue in there as well this is the standard exhaust layout so you have the quad pipes two on each side And of course, this is another angle that I truly, truly love on the car. All right, so enough with the forbidden fruit. Let's take a look at something that we do get in the US, and that's the BMW X3M Competition. This particular one, it's painted in Sao Paulo yellow. And if the color rings a bell, it's because you've seen it on the M3 and M4. It actually debuted on the M3 and M4, and it was one of the marketing launch colors for the two cars. As you can see, the vibrant yellow goes really well with the blacked out elements of this X3M competition. You can see plenty of black inserts into the front fascia. Of course, you have this redesigned front end on the competition model. Let me move around so you can see the car fully. This is definitely a color that stands out. So if you want your large SUV to stand out, this will do it for sure. All right, let's move on and see what else we have here. Of course, you have this Isle of Man green BMW X5M competition, but let's move on and see some other exciting things that we have here. All right, so as I approach this M4, I'm thinking this is the speedy yellow color. Yeah, once again, with plenty of blacked out elements. If I go to the front, you can also see this unique paint job. It is not a decal, it's an actual paint. And it's offered as an option, I believe, in Europe. As you can see, it's the actual paint. So there is no decal on top of the paint. The light, it's not great here, so it looks a little bit darker than it actually is. But earlier today, when there was a lot more sun outside, I was able to see the full color spectrum of the Speedy Aloe.
Speaking of more special colors, you have a frozen sunset orange. This one on a BMW M3 competition. And once again, same thing. It's got a darker theme, plenty of blacked out elements, extended shadow line as well. But I absolutely enjoy this frozen sunset orange because it shows the lines on the car perfectly. I mean, you can look from the side and you can see the lines running across. You can even see these two little lines right there, how they create this nice shade. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. You've got some carbon fiber on this one as well. You can see the diffuser and also the spoiler. All right, moving on. You have a two series, of course. You have an X6. And then right here you have a BMW i4 M50, also with M performance parts. So if I move around the car, we'll be able to see them. Plenty of carbon fiber, starting with a splitter. You have some carbon fiber air curtains right there. You can see the laser lights on the car, always looks great on the i4. And from the side, you can see the M performance lettering, along with a two-tone wheel, red calipers, and more carbon fiber in the mirror caps and also in the back. You have this trunk spoiler, nicely sculpted in the middle, also made of carbon fiber, along with the inserts in the bumper and the pipeless diffuser. All right, let's see what else. BMW 1 Series, this is the M135i front wheel based. Of course, the hatchback is not offered in the US either. It's actually a riot to drive, even though I do love the fourth generation 1 Series with the rear layout, the rear wheel layout. This one is still quite fun to drive. Actually, it puts down the power quite nicely in the X drive mode. Got a honeycomb grill, which is specific to the M135i. Speaking of M cars, you have the BMW M2. This is the show car. I think you've seen it last year when we were in Phoenix driving the M2. It's a wrap that was made specifically for this car. You can't really buy it. Third party company made this one for BMW. And as you can see, it's quite unique. Naturally, it was a show car, so it was meant to show the M performance parts, but it does, starting with the wheels. Of course, you have this racing wing, massive carbon fiber. Same thing for the roof. Some side canards also in carbon fiber, the rear end as well. And of course, you have the M performance exhaust too. You can also see how aggressive this M performance parts really are. I mean, this car is ready to go on the track. Once again, the BMW M2 here. You have the iX1, another car not coming to the US. Unfortunately, it's a great little electric crossover. Had a chance to drive this one in Europe last year. And it's actually, um, it would have been a perfect replacement for the BMW i3 sitting somewhere below the iX, but that's a different story now. Mini Cooper SC with a John Cooper Works trim. Not a little riot car. Of course, you have the BMW iX, the flagship of the electric lineup. And then you have a two-tone BMW 7 Series, maybe an i7 actually. Once again, if you don't remember, this color combination cost about 12,000 euros. It definitely looks imposing when you get in this two-tone color. Right, let's see what else, BMW XM, clearly. You have an old school 2.5 CS, something you don't usually see, especially the BMW Velt. Classy design lines. Of course, the shark nose, you can see from the side view as well. Beautiful, beautiful car. Of course, you have those vertical kidney grills right there, but they're not as big as on the newer products. 
Let's see what's around the corner here. Here we go, you have the BMW A-Series Grand Coupe by Jeff Kuhn. So it's not an art car, but this was actually made in collaboration with the artist, renowned artist, Jeff Kuhn's. I've seen a car before, he uses the A-Series Grand Coupe as the canvas. It's got a very interesting, a very unique paint. From what I remember, it's a very complicated process to achieve this paint job. It's something that BMW has worked quite closely with Kuhn's to achieve. So that's about it that was interesting from the BMW Velt. Of course, if I were to pick my favorite will be the M3 Touring in Riviera Blue, even though it stands out a little bit too much. But I would love to know in the comments below which one would be your favorite. Would you go for this M3 Touring in Tanzanite Blue? For the wild Sao Paulo Yellow X3M? Or maybe you're gonna pick the Riviera Blue M3 Touring too? Let me know and once again, Thanks for watching us and see you next time.